the time. God bless. A lot of mutual respect between these two combatants. The only thing Habib really took issue with was some of the promotion that was champion versus champion. He says, I am the champion. He is the interim champ. And Habib is hoping to keep it that way in this epic main event clash tonight. Magomedov striking has improved tremendously over the last 24 months or so. Had that knockdown against Conor McGregor, but in talking to Javier Mendez, they really feel like he's taking it to the next level. That being said, doesn't figure to lean on it too much tonight. Right now, these guys are just filling each other out. Nothing too crazy going on, obviously. You should start pressuring soon, and we've seen D Dustin just look for that calf kick pretty much so far. Keep his body on the outside, get that lead foot advantage. Back-to-back -back fights against southpaw strikers for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Fast double leg. And on the single leg, head on the inside. And this is where he does his best work. Once he gets a hold of that leg, he just moves to the top, top of your body and just keeps it squished up against the fence. This is where Dustin said he did a lot of work. We'll find out if it pays off. So this is the first time that Poirier is feeling that famed Nurmagomedov pressure. And you see Poirier wide-eyed looking to his chief corner, Mike Brown, for some advice. And take down for Khabib. This is where he wants to be. This is where he beats everybody. He gets, under, he gets behind you underneath these arms, and he can just stay here for five minutes. It's hard to get him off you in this position. He beats your legs up with the knees, and then just make you carry his weight so you got nothing in you after. Wow. Outstanding control by Nermago Menov. Now transitions to the back of Dustin Poirier. Couple hooks in. says, I know I'm going to be taken down. I just have to keep the scramble going. And the scramble is not going right now. It's tough. That Poirier got raked across the eye there a little bit by Nemago Menov. Now working on a little bit of a neck crank, not under the chin. And it hurts, but it doesn't choke. It just makes things miserable. And that's what Khabib does so well is he just makes things miserable for you. Hangs on your hands, beats you up, cranks your neck, keeps the pressure, makes you carry his weight. That's what we're seeing here. Poirier getting advice. Magomedov just covering the face and looking him on. Less than two minutes to go in the round. You see Magomedov wisely trying to upset the breathing pattern of Poirier. Poirier, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, trying to turn into the choke here, Dom. Yeah, he can't. It's not a choke. It's just nasty. It's just nasty. He makes it real nasty on you, Khabib. And that's what's happening right now. And see how he stays in that position no matter what, underneath both arms, and that's just not a fun position to be in if you're Poirier. Good job switching it around by him. So Dustin back to his feet, lands in need of the body of Nurmago Medov. But no separation for Poirier, which could prove problematic. Well, he keeps getting behind his arms like that, and that's going to be an issue. And you see how he trips him. That's one of Khabib's best weapons is he trips you while he's taking you down over and over. And it's, he's attacking your legs with the foot swings yeah. while he's attacking your upper body, and that's a big difference. Right, the simultaneous attacks, the subtleties, the nuances. And notice his head is always higher than his opponent, and that makes you carry his weight as well. There's the trips. Those are what make the difference is that he trips you while he's clinching you. A lot of guys aren't using that at the same time. Still behind the arms. Khabib three for four on his takedown attempts this well. Nice switch, but it's not enough because he keeps the hands locked. And you know, in wrestling, traditional wrestling, it's illegal to keep the hands locked. In the fight, that's, what, that's why it's illegal in a wrestling match. It's hard to get away. Already north of three minutes of control time from the Mago Medov. really been put on the defensive early in this fight. Some nice ground strikes now from the champion. Oh, big elbow from Khabib! Poirier forced to squirm out. 
Nurmagomedov at his mauling best in round one. Nice job there by Dustin Poirier's cornerman, Mike Brown, his boxing coach. Daya Davis, Boca Boxing District there in South Florida. Poirier threw just six significant strike attempts in that opening round. They want more offense here, and they want him fighting on a napkin in the center of the octagon. And that's what he's got to do. He's got to get the respect with his hands early. Otherwise, he can just keep wrestling him. But more than anything, they're saying, keep going for that switch. And when it's working, but you got to keep the leg when you switch. If you keep the leg, even if... If he keeps his hands locked, at least he gives you some leverage. He's got Poirier thinking right now, especially at that takeover. Poirier backing up here, early round two. Nice. Poirier with a big right hand. That back to Michael Melba. Khabib now on the retreat. Hard to know the extent to which that hurt Michael Melba. Right hand, Khabib able to avoid it. Poirier got to throw like this. This is what he's got to do. He's got to get respect. Nice kick to the body by Poirier, and then he slipped. Poirier digs to the body there. Khabib counters to the inside of that lead leg of Poirier. Double leg is just incredible. And that's a real difference in anything that people feel is, is how fast he can shoot. What an atmosphere in this arena with every strike that's thrown, takedown that's secured. Incredible. Surprise, Poirier said this was one of his harder training camps. Doing this every day for five, ten rounds. And right here, just in this position, you see Khabib just waiting because he's making Poirier carry all his weight, and it's just so tiring the way he hooks the leg and keeps your head. It takes so much energy to get up from these positions, and that's that's what Khabib does well. And now he's got his legs hooked while he's controlling the hands. Scooting to the fence, but yeah, I mean you see that leg control by Marco Medov. And that's what I see the biggest difference with Khabib from most grapplers is he's using his hands and his legs at the same time. Most wrestlers are just using their upper body and their feet are touching the floor. They're just using their upper body and that's it. He uses both at the same time and it gives him this is weapons at all times on the map. And it looks like Poirier has been cut open fairly significantly around that left eye. And a lot of times you see guys with their head is lower than the man up against the fence, but Khabib's generally higher than the guy on bottom, and that's making him carry the weight, and that's why he always ends up behind the back here. I'm not sure what cut Poirier, but that is a significant cut and bothering him. Under two minutes here to go in round two of a possible five. See how he's hooking the ankles there. It just really offsets the hips, keeps you from being able to be strong up against the fence. And he'll keep going back and forth between hooking the ankles, going to a double leg, right. hooking the ankles up and down, up right. and down. As Poirier focuses on the upper body fighting for an underhook, you get your leg cut out from underneath. And then that gives him the upper body lock after you're tripped. No fun. Unless your team, Ramago Medov, and most people in this arena are, he'll try to drag Poirier down again here. 
transitioning is just literally pretty much flawless so far. Medov five for six on his takedown attempts thus far. We'll see if Poirier can get away from the fence here. No, unable to do so. He's tired. It's exhausting. Carrying all this weight. He's doing more work than Khabib right now. It's the back and forth battle of the trips and the upper body clinch that's just hard to deal with. You go with good judo players, that's what it feels like. They're always tripping you and then you lose your upper body balance and, and, and stability and then you're just behind. Oh, nice knee from Romago Medov. He has largely muted Dustin Poirier's offense through 10 minutes. 2-0 Khabib. And huge right hand lands, as you saw. I mean, that, that hurt. That made Khabib go, hey, hold on a second. But once he got himself together, it was right back to the normal game plan. Wrestle. <laughs> and wrestle and wrestle. And that's the difference. Everybody, you can get guys to wrestle with you in camp. But when, when you're at the level of Khabib, there's not a lot of people that wrestle like that. So it's almost impossible to feel it. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. Little frustration from Dustin Poirier on the stool there after round two. Let's see if he can get his hands going here in round three. in but it's not super tight yet now it's in Dustin Poirier working on a guillotine here Nurmagomedov oh. Medov staying composed gets him off him for a second and he sticks to the sticks to the guillotine to keep it and that's in that's in tight but turning to a hip the way he's doing buys him some air he sticks with it wow Nurmagomedov Medov his head out, crowd goes bananas. And now Nurmagomedov knows how tired Dustin Poirier's arms are, and he gets right on the hand control, and this is what we saw at Curtis Blades earlier, is the hand control on the heavyweight, in the same position, the top leg position, and now his head's higher than Poirier's, so Poirier's gotta get all that weight off him before he can get away. But first and foremost, he has to attack the hand control of Khabib. See Khabib's father, Abdulmanap, right there. Proud to be in his son's corner tonight. Now, a possible... Nope, Nurmagomedov bails. It's enough to make it real ugly. It's just mean. Neck cranking you always, yeah, right. Cross your jaw, you can't breathe, it hurts your nose. And it's not really, that's in. That's in. Nurmagomedov under the chin, there's the cut! Khabib Nurmagomedov, 28-0! Incredible. Absolutely.